why does he think, uh, and I've had Peter be on this show for <laughs> a few times, or so I've interviewed him many times on this program, and, um, <coughs> but I would like to know what his psyche is, especially this period, with those of you that have been working with him, going on rallies and all of that, I'd like to know what his psyche is around being the president of Nigeria, why he thinks he's the best man for the job. Several reasons. So l l let me take you back a bit, um, because it's always good for our listeners to understand really what is important. Uh, for me, for us to get it right as a country, we all know where we are. We know how things have deteriorated over the years and actually getting worse uh, by the day. So what is important? When you are actually, when you have candidates before you, what should you look out for? It's very important. Far more important than actually looking at manifesto because you can always hire anybody to write stuff for you. So, because if you're talking about a promise, for instance, without a promiser, who is making that promise? Is it believable? Is it to be trusted? What are his track record? You get it, you miss the point. So there are four things that are important, and I'll run that through very quickly. First is the personality, the candidate. Character of the candidate is far more important than what he's saying. If somebody is a liar, there's nothing he's lying about I'm interested in. If somebody is notorious for not keeping to his words, what do I care about what is coming from his mouth? So character of the person is by far the most important thing. And that encompasses everything. thing. His humility, does he think he knows it all? Is he a good listener? Is he somebody who is compassionate? How does he engage and relate with people? Does he think he's a god or he thinks he's equal with every other person? So that is what actually sets Peter B apart. 